Hey y'all, what's up? So it's Toxic Mimi here, and I'm finna help y'all get uh, sun breathing. I'm gonna show y'all four locations so you can find sun breathing. Now, four locations is a pretty big deal. You guys have a high chance of getting sun breathing as long as you guys follow this step by step tutorial on how to get it. So, first off, before I even show y'all the locations, we need to go over some basic concepts. So, first off, you cannot get sun breathing unless you have max breathing and the way you get max breathing is you come all the way over here okay come here go ahead and buy one of these gourds okay buy them and you have so the way it works is you use this gourd right you train with it press G if you have breathing I haven't unlocked anything I'm just using this as an account to you know um, make the video obviously I won't use my real account because I'm a I'm a he know up there I don't wanna you know mess up my uh, mess up my rank but uh or and I also don't want to get banned. So um you know this is just a guide to help y'all. But first y'all want to get this uh gourd. Break it by br uh doing br breathes all the way then clicking and then you'll pr be pretty much breathing into the gourd. You're going to do that for all 3. When once you break this gourd, that means you have max breathing, okay? You have max breathing. So now that you have max breathing, you're going to go ahead and and you can do this at the same time you can try to knock out both tasks at the same time because getting max breathing in this game is a bit time consuming it took me three days so um yeah it's uh it, it can be it can be a bit painful but um so we're gonna go ahead and now go to the second place what is this we're gonna go to the second place where you're supposed to be getting your or the second task that you're supposed to complete to get your sun breathing you're actually going to go to this village. Um, most of y'all should know where I'm going, but if not, just follow the video closely. You're going to go to the Half-Armed Slayer, okay? He's going to give you um, a few quests. Uh, well, he'll give you one quest, which you're going to do 20. You're going to do this Defeat the Demons quest 20 times. Once you've done that 20 times, you are now eligible to get sun breathing as long as you've done the as long as you've done the quests and you've uh, gotten max breathing. So now that you've done the quest and you've gotten max breathing, what's next, right? You're going to go to the locations that I'm going to show you in this video. And after you go to those locations, or you know, when you get to those locations, you're going to go ahead and click on the earrings. When you click on those earrings, it's either going to say one of two things. It's either going to say you feel the power within you, or it's going to say you touched it and nothing happens, okay? Now, whenever it says you touched it and nothing happens, that means that, you know, you're not strong enough, you're not ready to handle the, you know, the power of sun breathing, okay? So if that happens, it's okay, no problem, you know, usually after you try to touch it, it'll teleport to a new location, which is, you know, so it's, um, it's, it's a pain in the ass, so you want to make sure that you are totally ready, you know, keep track of the amount of quests you've done, and make sure you have max breathing, okay? Oh, by the way, so if it does say that you are uh, strong enough, you feel the power within you, you want to go ahead and get a buddy. Let your buddy execute you. He'll give you back your yen, you know, whatever you lose. You know, uh, tell him to give it back to you when he does execute you. But he's going to execute you. And when you revive, you are, or respawn, I mean, if when you respawn, you are going to uh, come out with your first sun breathing ability. So, yay. And um, as I've heard, you do not need, um, to, you don't have to, you don't have to have like, no breathing. You can use, you can have your breathing and get sun breathing. That's from, that's from what I've heard, but I'm not totally sure on that. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. You know, comment down below if it's true or not. But uh, anyway, so now we're gonna we're gonna um, establish a point of reference. So this point of reference is a um, way that I uh, I use to like you know remember where each of the spawns are. So if we're standing on this point of reference, right, the earring is going to be in this direction. So it's gonna be in that direction. Okay, guys. So we're gonna just you know walk down this direction, and uh, I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut or fast forward through all this but um yeah so now let's say if you got in here you see I guess a huge you know brick wall or a stone wall 
once you get to this, once you get to the end of this, uh, when you, once you get to the end of the map, which is this wall, you want to turn here and just keep walking, you know? The, the, the length will vary for each, each one of you, but you want to keep walking until you get to Mitsuri, right? She's the love, she's the love breathing teacher. Once you get to the love breathing teacher, you want to look up, you'll see this weird looking tree, you know, it looks, it looks different from the rest, right? Uh, and that's usually how they they should they put these. Uh, that's usually where they put the earrings, you know, um, near the tree that looks the weirdest out of the the others. So this one, this one, these all look the same, right? But then there's this one that sticks out, you know, and it's weirdly shaped as well, you know. All the other trees that that are that kind of are like it don't really look like it. So go ahead, go up here, and you'll see that the earring isn't there. Or, well, for me, it's not there. That's because someone else has probably clicked on it in the server, and it's changed its location. And if it has, no problem. You know, someone's, someone in this server has probably already, uh, you know, been through here and uh, clicked on it. No biggie, you know? The, that's why there's four locations. These four locations are meant to give you the best chance of getting sun, okay? So, the next location we're gonna be heading back to the village so you can just easily walk down here and you'll see the village right there you know I you know I've strategically found the fastest way to get to each one of these points you're gonna go back through the village so now you're back in the village you know past the half arm slayer and you're gonna go up this uh you're gonna go up this little mountain Pretty sure most of you guys are aware of all this, um, especially for watching this video. I'm pretty sure you're a um, you're a part of this uh, community, so um, finding your way throughout shouldn't be too hard. You're gonna pass the food cellar, right? You're gonna go past the food cellar. You're gonna walk across this bridge, okay? So you gotta be very careful, don't fall, um, especially if you're weak. Uh, you know, and then you know you fall and uh, you die or break a leg, you know. But um, then you want to go ahead and walk down. Uh, walk down, uh, and you and a good way to know you. Uh, a good way to know if you're in the right area is if you look at this ladder and you can see that there's a ladder right here on the side of this wall. You're in the right area. You know, you're gonna walk down here. And you're gonna see that there are two trees right here. Again, uh, again, uh, actually, this doesn't. This tree doesn't look too out of a uh, too out of place, but. This is the second place where I found the earrings. So, one spawn will be right here. So, make sure to check. You know, it's usually around this tree. Um, not too hard to find, but you want to make sure that you you check, make sure. Um, yeah. All right. So now we're back at our point of um, you know our relevancy point. Now the n the third location. Okay, it's gonna be. Um, it's going to be up there, right? So you see that high, that tall flower. It's the I think this, that that's the highest point in the map. You're going to want to get up to that. And um, you know, climbing as we all know in this game is uh, a pain in the ass. It's not the it's not the best, but um, you know, it works sometimes, you know. Um, I'm trying to get up here, but uh climbing can be a pain. Let me try to figure out. I don't want to cut through this cuz I want to show you guys how to get up, but usually you want to go through this or use this um oh there we go and then you want to go up here there okay you have to get up there you're gonna walk through the side you remember you're trying to get trying to get up here to the highest um the tree that's on the highest point and uh oof, I'm about to get blown away um so you're gonna get to this point and then you're just gonna walk diagonally just walk up just jump and walk you know you should make it up right here once you get up here the tree is going to uh, the earrings are going to be in this location okay so here's here's the earring in this location um yeah so if you can see that that's the earring if you click on it it'll say touch the earring um you know if you're not ready for it don't touch the earrings obviously because they will teleport if if you know you click yes and you're not actually ready um, and then, let me show you the fourth and final spawn that it usually is at. Oh, ah. 
you know, on my other account that usually does not happen. So, um, it's weird. Anyways, you want to come down from the tree. And you just want to start heading this way. So, you're going to, you know, jump. You're going to fall down, but don't hurt yourself like I did. Um, you're going to get down onto this platform, onto this, like, little rocky bridge kind of thingy. And, um, you're going to want to get down from there. Yeah, I'll just take the safe way, but you guys don't have to. You just You just want to circle around and get back over there. And, uh, once you guys do... You're gonna pass this huge fat rock, and you know you'll know that hey, I'm on the I'm, I'm you know you know on the right path. And you're going to want to get to this little bridge hole type thingy, you know whatever it's called. It's like a it's like, well, you know, just like a hole. You know, you want to get to this hole right there. Once you've gotten to this, you know, hole in the um bridge, you're gonna you know. Look for this tree up here, okay? This is a, this is, you know, it's usually surrounded by trees, so the best bet is to, you know, if, if like, if you're trying to look for more spawns, always look near trees. So this is the fourth spawn that it's usually at, and uh, I actually was trying to record this video last time, and I messed up, um, my computer was glitching out, but this is where I found it last time. So these spawns do work. Um, that third spawn is, I did not expect it to be there, I thought, it, I thought it was actually here, that's what I was expecting, but, um, yeah, so, use the, use this video wisely, obviously, you know, do, you do whatever you want with it, but at the end of the day, you know, this video is meant to help people, not, you know, do, you know, destroy the community or whatever, you know, um, you know, yeah, just use the information wisely. And, uh, you know, I think that everyone should have a good chance at getting sun. You know, sun's, um, sun's, uh, well, I mean, sun's a, a, a good ability that I feel like, you know, everyone should get the chance to get, you know, I mean, because the earrings, they're, you, you saw they were extremely small. I mean, I mean, if I didn't have the search party of friends that I had to find them, dude, there was no way in heck I would have found that on my own. So, you know, and I, I believe that's kind of unfair. But anyways, guys, um, you know, I hope this video helped you find, I hope it helped you find an earring. Um, remember that these earrings are a secret thing in the community, um, so don't go around the whole server, you know, telling everyone, hey, I found the earring, or they will, you know, change up the locations, and you know, you all you know, know that I got you, bruh, if they change up, comment down below if they change up the locations, and I will go ahead and make another video with the new updated locations, okay? Come on now. Y'all know I got y'all. Y'all know I got y'all. So, make sure to let me know if they do change the spawns or anything like that. And I will reveal the locations to y'all, alright? Anyways, I will see y'all later. Peace out.